This just says it all, doesn't it? Hello everyone, my name is Prime and welcome back to another episode of ATS Showcases and today we are going to be doing an evening trip in the Western Star 49X. This is just the extended cab version. I believe it, they called it the 42 inch sleeper if uh, I, if I'm not wrong. Um, of course in black this thing is absolutely mean with the chrome accents and stuff like that. Uh, we are here in Yuma and we're heading up to Emberg and we've got some frozen food. It's gonna be a great journey uh, and it already looks absolutely amazing here in the evening. Uh, like I said it's about six o'clock in the evening and uh, it's uh, gonna get probably be around 8, 8.30 ish. So we'll get to see the whole sunset process and I better get going before we actually miss something. So I hope everyone is doing well and I'm just gonna go around the building here cause I'm facing the wrong way. Gotta get that, uh, gotta get that thumbnail. Um, <laughs> hopefully everyone is doing well, enjoying their Wednesday or whatever day this video may find you. Um, you may be wondering why in the world am I doing a video on Wednesday? Uh, it is well this is a crazy big update there's a lot of stuff I can cover and I mean I just have to I mean the the evening trips are so amazing I'm gonna do a morning trip as well uh, be sure to make uh, to stick around for Saturday's video because I've got kind of a fun one um, planned you know, regarding some chassis selections I'm gonna try some fun stuff uh, so be sure to stick around for that Performance wise, I really haven't seen too much of a hit obviously in the cities. It's always worse my computer day-to-day -day changes anyway So obviously we can only take it uh, Can only t have to take everything you see with a grain of salt because my computer day-to-day -day is sometimes good And sometimes it is just plain bad in my word. This looks like a traffic jam here uh, Yeah I'm not gonna let you guys sit through this one because this may take a while a few inches later uh, so yeah, like I said, this is going to be a beautiful journey. I mean, already look at this. This is absolutely amazing. The 1.4 beta is absolutely incredible when it comes to the uh, graphics and the lighting. It's just unreal. And uh, I'm so excited to do some other trips in it. Obviously, this is <laughs> what it's going to look like from now on. So forever hold your peace, people. Um, well, mind you, this has a graphics updates and stuff. I'm sure they'll do and other great mods and stuff like that. So keep that all in mind but uh, this just looks absolutely amazing like just if I spin it around look at that just look at that people that is insanely awesome I think I just ran a red light I so did just run a red light and I missed my turn oh no a few moments later there we go all back on track we are all set and ready to go brakes much oh man I, uh, I keep forgetting to change some settings, so uh, I'm gonna have to get used to that. But just look at the sun in here. It's just, on the truck, it looks absolutely amazing. It was that black and the chrome. Oh man, this thing is so, so sweet. So hopefully everyone has uh, been enjoying the content recently on the channel. I know that it's been grow the channel's been growing, like, incredibly quick. Um, I am so, so amazed at what's happening here. I'm going to hit this red light too, but oh well. Um, it's just incredible to see. Uh, so thank you guys so, so much. Um, oh man. <sighs> More beeping. That's not good. One eternity later. As I was saying, um, it's been incredible to see the channel growing so much and uh, the Prime News episodes have been pumping out there like crazy, if you probably haven't been able to tell. Um, that is because SCS Software has been keeping me on my toes and uh, yeah, it has been absolutely incredible to see uh, the community engagement and just the, the record numbers I'm seeing on this channel uh, over the last week or two really and it is just incredible to see and uh, thank you guys so so much um, I'm very proud of, to see how um, how much of a family this community is turning out to be and uh, I, I, I can't thank you guys enough for that and uh, just be sure to stick around for even more great content coming here because I can assure you it's gonna get really really good really really soon um, uh, I'm still trying obviously I'm not perfect I'm still trying to work out some kinks either when it comes to the uh, the uh, audio or the video um, obviously I'm limited on what I can do but I'm certainly trying to do my best this is what I really enjoy doing and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for uh, 
all the continued support and uh, yeah just look at that right there isn't that what we were waiting for and I better get the headlights on here soon um, this is what we've been waiting for with the uh, 1.4 update this is absolutely amazing and hey look at that 60 frames per second I told you as soon as we get out of the city and my computer decides to work we are actually all set and ready to go here and uh, this is gonna be great because now we've got nice nice um, footage here for some really nice evening shots and uh, really nice open field so that's why I chose this area because I knew when the Sun started to go down uh, it's gonna be absolutely amazing the lights like even on look on the dash like I know that was there before but it's nowhere close to what it was prior the Sun kind of blooming on and changing like it's so dynamic and um, it, it, the depth of everything is just absolutely incredible and uh, hats off to SCS software for all the work there now you may have realized um, last week, of course, when I did the Prime News and even the Saturday video on the first look for the 1.4 update, you should probably check that out in the card above, but um, you probably noticed that there was an extra little Prime News video the next day after I, uh, I, I covered their release of the 1.4 beta, and it was that it was their official Western Star 49X update video and information thing I was honestly so confused when I saw that on on the blog page I was like oh cool another blog thing what am I gonna be covering today and it was just it was basically everything I talked about or everything they covered in the pr previous day in the release of the uh, beta just again but with a special trailer but I'm like you know what I'm gonna cover it anyways um, I mean, it's an, it's prime, it's a news, it's a news about an American truck, and so I was like, I better cover it, and of course it'd be the same for Euro Truck if they did that, I, I would have covered it as well, because I'm now doing Euro Truck coverage, but I mean, it's just, ooh, I better go outside here, look at that, I just saw it on the dash, I saw the colors changing, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta go do some cinematic, um, but no, it's, uh, it's one of those things where, oh, stay in my lane, um, it was one of those things where I was so confused, Full credit to SES Software they've been pushing out a lot of stuff, they've been working hard. Both games, uh, this 1.4 update is big, I know they've got a lot on their plate, but uh, my word, like, come on. <laughs> I just, I just like, maybe get the order a little bit better, I don't know, that's, that's honestly it, but just look at this. This just says it all, doesn't it? This says it all, of course it goes behind the hill, but this says it all about the 1.4 update. Sunset in the middle of the desert. Oh, yeah, this is the life As I barely keep it on the road um, <laughs> But yeah, no, it is just it was one of those things where I kind of found it funny Just for the simple fact of it was kind of strange the timing, but yeah, it is just I, I you know, what? I'm not gonna complain about the strange timing of their blog posts uh, and their publications when you get this right when you get this absolute gorgeous, gorgeous views here. Man, alive, that is just awesome. Um, that That is why, right there, when you do this, this is textbook. Like, th look at that, that is te textbook, like, western look right there. Oh, and there's a plane fly by there, too. But uh, I better not do that too long or I am going to crash. Um, are the headlights even blooming? That can't be right. Where's my headlights? That's a little strange, isn't it? There's like no headlights anywhere. Oh well. Maybe when it gets darker we'll be able to see it. I'm sure that's just the case. It's just because... Oh well, man, we're really speeding here. I'm sure that's just a, uh, a case of the lighting aspect and how dark it is. Because it doesn't look like there's headlights anywhere. I don't think I have headlights turned off. Uh, oh, I got to turn left here. My word, I almost missed that. And stop. Um, yeah, like everyone's got their headlights on, but I can't really tell. But saying that, it's not really dark yet. And I think that that was one thing I think I noticed 
on some of the blog posts is that the light headlights weren't showing up the same and to be honest at this light you wouldn't really notice it from inside anyways you can kind of tell but not really so to be honest i think they've got that pretty much spot on now i don't know maybe you can change the uh lights as well like maybe the brightness of stuff i don't know um i am probably totally yeah i am i am totally blocking that left lane luckily no one's in it so Oh well, but yeah, no, it is, uh, that's something I've noticed, so we'll see, hopefully, when it gets, yeah, I think I'm already starting to see it a little bit more bloomy. Yeah, it is. It's ever so slightly changing, which is, I think that's, that's absolutely incredible. Yeah, I can, I'm starting to see it now, with AI, AI and myself. It's starting to get a little bit, oh yeah, totally, totally. It's just faint. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we can see it. Oh yeah, 100% now. Yeah, there we go. That is incredible. That, that, that this is no way. This is absolutely stunning because it's so realistic. There's no way that was in. Yeah, no. This is this is 100% because of the lighting system. I remember last in the in the last update. Like, just look at the skyboxes. This is incredible. Just do that that that. that the dusk. I'm kind of partially at a loss for words even though I'm still talking, but hey ho. Um, just look at over the- okay, hold on, hold on, we're stopping here. I mean, we have to, it's a stop sign, but that. That, my friend. That, my friend, is a screenshot worthy picture right there. You may even see that on the Prime Simulation Twitter. You never know. Just saying. It may even be a sneak peek. Depends on how generous I feel. Uh, but yeah, no, that, yeah, 100%, this is lighting, because before, you, you just noticed it automatically. I mean, yeah, this isn't just incredible. Just incredible, my friends. I can't believe what they've done to this. Like, I, I know there's gr great graphics mods out there, but for everyone, like, especially for me to be able to be running something like this, that's, like, unheard of. Yeah, definite, oh yeah. You just need to be a little bit darker, and then you definitely get, uh... You definitely get some, uh, dynamics here with the lighting, and of course, everything starts to turn on. Oh, we got a, uh, traffic stop. Oh, look at the, the lights, the emergency lights, too. Oh, man, the bloom from that's incredible. Dude. Yeah, this is why I love these updates. And, uh, also just... Look at the light when I push on the brakes. Just look how everything lights up even more. It is just absolutely incredible, and I'm sure I'll uh, I'll remind myself whenever I do the morning run to start when it's really dark and then go into the morning, and we'll uh, I'll, I'll be able to start the truck up when it's dark and stuff, and we can see everything. But yeah, it's just then the interior lights as well. Then whenever it's dark, and yeah, it's about eight eight thirty eight. Well, basically. Uh, 20 to 9 now in game and it's just whenever everything just it, it just feels like I'm driving in real life uh, the dynamic of my eyes what I'm what I can perceive of um, the color change and the depths and the different levels of light it is just unreal what they've been able to capture and uh, I'm sure this will still continue to improve as the update goes along or the uh, yeah the beta and the update goes along I know there's been a patch um, as of late, and that uh, yeah, it is just absolutely insane. Um, I just, I just love the colors of everything. And when you, uh, it's just incredible. Oh, can we stop? Maybe, yeah, we can. Um, it's just so, so good. And uh, you probably have been getting tired and peer of me just kind of um, being so amazed at this, but I honestly am just shocked. Like, look at that. That, my friends is why this update has changed how we truck. That is why this update is revolutionary for American Truck and Euro Truck respectively. Um, although I don't have Euro Truck at the moment, um, it is just, I, I understand that it's also huge there. And it's gonna, if it's big in American Truck, it's gonna be huge in Euro Truck. Uh, I can guarantee you that one. Uh, we're just gonna, oh, we're not getting around that corner. Well, this was going to be a nice, easy parking job. Uh, hopefully no one's coming that way. I can't see. Anyway, so we're just going to YOLO it. Um, 
let's see if we can. We're gonna just try and back it up and around. Obviously, this is the prime or ATS showcase. I was gonna say prime news there for a second. Been doing so much of that, I could probably do a full episode while I'm sleeping. Um, it's one of those things where it's not overly realistic, but I do try and drive as realistic as I can. But if something goes wrong, I kind of go like, "Hey ho." It's gonna be what it is, and we go from there. It's not the end of the world. Uh, my Prime Logistics series, I'm hoping to come back very soon. Obviously, with this update, it gives me even more reason to do a lot more on American Truck constantly, even though that's basically all I do on the channel anyways, but that's another story. Um, yeah, so it's one of those things where this is gonna be kind of a huge game changer here. Let's see if maybe yeah why not I'm I'm already going for it I might as well try I've got a nice angle going on here so let's let that start drift in a bit more maybe we'll let help it out a little bit we're gonna help it out even more uh, let's see honestly I don't yeah I'm probably I'm overshooting it a bit but that's okay we're just gonna maybe park beside yeah there's no one over there we're gonna park beside a bit it doesn't matter honestly I don't I always pull out because I have a uh... oh look at that on the back doors that's insane um, to be honest I always normally pull out of the parking spot because I've got a uh, little bit of a help money wise so then we can continue to do these ATS showcases with uh, without having just infinite money I kind of just boost the money values a little bit so instead of getting thousands of H uh, XP, I just pull back out and go from there. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this absolutely amazing, amazing episode. Um, the lighting system in the evening and the uh, mornings are I know and at night I know are what is what makes this update just absolutely insanely awesome. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.